Hey guys, I'm Lauren and welcome to the Side Chef Studio Kitchen. Today I'll be making a spicy tuna sushi burrito. Sushi burritos are a fusion of two of my favorite foods and the spicy tuna that we'll be putting inside is actually a family recipe. Let's get started. Here I have a tray of warm just cooked rice. To turn it into sushi rice, we're going to combine vinegar, sugar, and salt. Once you've added the three ingredients, just toss it gently to combine. You should start to see a glossy sheen on the rice from the melting sugar. Now that we've mixed our rice, I'm gonna cover it with a clean, damp cloth and set it aside to come to room temperature. Now we're gonna make our spicy tuna mayo. We're gonna start with mayo, sriracha, garlic powder, ginger powder, soy sauce, and vinegar. And finally, we add the scallions. And now we're just gonna mix it all together. Now we're gonna dice the fish into half inch cubes. Now that we've made our sauce, we're gonna to toss it with the diced tuna. The fish is fully combined with the sauce. Now we're ready to make our burritos. To make a piece of seaweed large enough for our burrito, we are first going to combine two pieces of seaweed by taking a small finger of water and running it along the inside of one of the pieces. Ta-da! Now that we have our extra large seaweed, we are gonna fill it with rice. What we're looking for is a five by seven rectangle of rice spread over the seaweed closest to you. It's time to make our burritos. First, we're gonna add the star of the show, some of this spicy tuna. Then we'll follow up with some avocado, some cucumbers, some red onion, a little cilantro, and finally, sprinkle some sesame seeds. Let's get rolling. To roll the burrito, we're gonna take the side closest to you and roll it away while you tuck the ingredients under. Once you've successfully tucked the ingredients, then grab those edges, tuck them in as well, and complete your roll. Our burrito has been assembled, it's been wrapped, and finally, I like to wrap it up in some parchment paper before slicing and serving. Now that we've wrapped our burrito up in a nice little package, we are going to slice it in half. And there you have it, a beautiful spicy tuna sushi burrito. I've served mine with some potato chips topped with a little bit of furikake, but you can serve them alone. You could take these to the beach. However you want to eat them is perfect. Enjoy.